Good afternoon, YouTubers. Back in my second video. As I promised in my first, uh, I'm going to do a uh, Gold Camp Road and Helen Hunt Falls ride today. Nothing nothing too crazy, but uh, Gold Camp Road and um, in itself has got some history, and Helen Hunt Falls is a pretty good view, so uh, I figure somebody will check it out. Um, definitely, if you're coming to the Springs, this is a great place to check out. Not gonna lie. Um, I've been coming here since I was a little kid, um, especially Helen Hunt Falls, and we just you just can't get enough of Colorado's mountain scenery while you're here. That's for sure. All right, let's uh, safely merge back onto the road. ever um, found them, um, so on and so forth. And uh, the, the ghost story is that you can, if you stop in some of the tunnels, you can hear the kids laughter or kids screaming or uh, if you have dust on your car, you'll see the, the kids' fingerprints. Um, <laughs> cool stuff like that, you know. And I did a little research and uh, from, what, from what I found, no school bus was ever trapped or collapsed under there. 1987 wasn't that long ago, so there would be some record of school bus and children dies in mountain kind of type deal. So, as far as I can tell, that, that, that story is untrue. Squirrel! Uh, nonetheless, though, you know, cool little, cool little piece of history, I think. Um, but the tunnel did collapse. That is a true statement. Uh, I think it's tunnel number three. Um, uh, basically, the wood brought it out. It was never upcapped, and, uh, and uh, wind's starting to get a little bit over here. So uh, I'm working on getting a new mic. Um, hopefully, that'll come. Or, well, I'll be able to get it here soon. The truth of it is, I don't have the I have a whole lot of money right now. So uh, be patient with me. Um, but yeah. Through the years, Gold Camp Road didn't stay, obviously didn't stay a um, mining road at all. Um, it was quickly 
the uh, they sold all the rails for scrap. And then they um, basically some random guy I think got hold of it and um, charged people to drive through the mountain basically to Cripple Creek. And he charged a dollar a car like in the early 1900s or something like that. And um, I guess after he died or passed away, it became the property of Pike National Forest again. And then it was open to the public for free use. But before it was called Gold Gold Camp Road, it was called Corley Mountain Highway. Um, and that's something actually I didn't know. I lived here my whole life and that's not something I knew. Um, but yeah, so it was Corley Mountain Highway and then when it was uh, changed back, change back to the government, they renamed it to Gold Camp Road, uh, which I guess is supposed to signify that, you know, it was a gold railway, I don't know, but uh, nonetheless, you can definitely tell that this area is a beautiful area, this is kind of the residential neighborhood part of it right now, uh, but man, I would certainly love to live up here, love being up in the mountains.
in the end, I sent my first few videos and I'm just going to watch anyway. Alright, so this road's pretty narrow. Uh, you can definitely tell this is a railway. <laughs> road damage. Proceed with cost. I assume that it's probably gotten worse. But here's the start of where the railway would have been. Or, well, I guess the railway probably would have been on the whole road, but you can definitely tell on this part. Oh, yeah, look at that view, guys. Look at that.
people letting me know what's going on. the same point that like all the freaking trails and roads in Colorado are all two-way and it's awful awful I can't tell you the amount of times that I've been almost killed by some dude in a Jeep <laughs> or another dirt biker or something um, and you're just, you're just like oh my god I almost lost my life because of this idiot uh, I'm pretty careful with some of our trails most most two-way trails I you know I, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I had no way, shape, or form want to lose my life. Uh, I'm pretty sure my uh, my girlfriend would come to haunt me when I lost my life while dirt biking. Tunnel number two for us now. Raining. Oh, maybe not. Losing it. Right. Now this one's kind of scary to me because there's a blind spot. in Colorado aren't so great and they're not very courteous on trails like this. Like we're gonna ride in the middle of the road even though you have no space. people dumping bodies up here, you know, and they find it in the, the Manitou Creek or whatever, Manitou, I think that's what it's called, but um, <laughs> lots of people are like, yeah, uh, a lot of bodies have been found or dumped up here, so I guess that's another creepy uh, ghost story. Another one that I read online was, that, oh, I guess a lot of a lot of workers while building this railroad died. Um, that's unfounded, and I couldn't find anything that was truth or not. I mean, the early 1800s records weren't the best, but um, so you can kind of see Helen Hunt a little bit there. But um, I guess a lot of workers died, part of the thing, and sometimes you can, in the tunnels you can hear the workers, or you can hear screaming, or something like that. I've never had any uh, paranormal experiences up here, so unfounded to me. I'm not a huge paranormal guy. It's funny because I believe in paranormal stuff. I'm full on. I believe spooky things can happen. Happen. Full on belief. So this is parking lot A. That's still closed. I don't know why. Um, this is a large parking lot. The person hiking up here. Um, I know you can hike to the closed tunnel. Um, never done it before. 
Someday I will. And I'll take pictures, but I don't think I can get there from a bike. But you never know. My topic or theme today was just the history of Gold Camp, which I probably explained way too quickly, but, um, I mean, it's still, still about a point. I mean, let me know if you guys live in either Colorado or some other state that's got really cool, like, mining history to it. Like, I know there's a few other, a few others in Colorado that do, but, yeah, by all means, chime in some stories. Maybe I can come visit. stop on the way back. I didn't expect so many people to be here on a Monday. Can't deny that. Colorado, right here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly love sitting there. I had a nice little uh, snack and uh, kind of relaxed for about an hour or so. Uh, I most certainly enjoy this kind of stuff, you know. Not just riding, but, you know, sitting there and taking nature in. Um, yeah, so this is really, I guess, my first uh, dual sport-ish real ride, I suppose. But um, more to come, more to come, uh, definitely. There's a ton of places that we can ride around, explore. I, I figured out Gold Camp Road. Kind of confusing how it works, but uh, I definitely didn't know. But uh, no worries there. I don't think we missed anything spectacular.
get Colorado. It's a freaking dirt road. I mean, what harm is it going to do if the guys on ATVs are on this road? I don't get that. I mean, I'm just riding a glorified dirt bike, really. I mean, yeah, it's bigger and uh, whatever, but honestly, the truth of it is, you know, for what my uses are, it's a dirt bike. I take this anywhere that a dirt bike will go. Although a real dirt bike would do it better. This will never stop me though. That's the whole purpose of dual sporting. Dual sport bike is not the perfect dirt bike. It'll go anywhere. Doesn't mean you can race in that area. Doesn't mean you'll do it as good as a real dirt bike. But you can do it and ride on the road. And just have a blast. Nice little structure down below there. Google the Broadmoor. Trust me. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's just a spectacular view. Oh, man. Well. my bike that's just that's important I mean <laughs> that is that is something I completely forgot about and I can't believe it um, that, that was my mind um, Artemis this is what I have named my bike why did I name my DRZ Artemis good question glad you asked I named it Artemis because Artemis is the goddess of the forest and the trees and the hunt and something like that. And uh, that just fits, you know. It fits this bike so perfectly. It's, you know, it'll go anywhere, on or off road, uh, and it, it just, it'll do anything. I'm sure if I wanted to hunt something from this bike, I could do it. Who knows? We might get adventurous one day. Um, but yeah, and then my uh, the little KLR, uh, my girl's KLR, uh, that one we named Orion. Which is a funny story, Artemis and Orion are, um, I guess Orion is the virgin lover of um, Artemis. So I guess her bike is uh, my, my, uh, my DRZ's uh, virgin lover. Do not enter one way. Okay.